And then I'll talk about sort of two other skills, which is, um, again, I think this is kind of a bit more of a mindset, but being prepared that when you ask those genuine questions and you listen intently, the responses that come back may be what you not, but may not be what you expect. Um, and that is part of it, kind of letting go of that certainty, um, letting go of control in a sense and being genuinely curious to hear what people think. Um, and with that, that does bring a level of discomfort, right? Because, you know, leaders have got so much on their, they've got so much on their shoulders. Um, and when you start to sort of bring that more collaborative environment into your team, you're going to, you have to let go of a bit of that control. And um, so it brings a little bit of kind of uncertainty, a little bit of un uncomfortable, you know, discomfort. I always kind of also refer to this as like in a workshop environment, if you do ask questions and um, wait for people to respond and you create that environment where everyone can speak up, it can also feel a little bit chaotic. And, you know, in the business world, we, we kind of don't like chaos. We like everything to be kind of tidy and clean and, you know, logical in a, in, you know, a nice kind of easy sequence and a workshop kind of, an effective workshop will blow all of that out of the water. So you have to kind of get comfortable with that. Um, but you get food to the other end and then you're, you know, as an objective, someone who's outside of the content, you're able to spot those connections, bring things together. So I kind of look at this cycle of asking questions, listening, dealing with what comes up, which might be a bit messy and a bit chaotic, and then somehow bringing it together into something that you can move forward with. It's almost like that divergent, convergent yeah. thinking um, model. It's, it's a really lovely way to think about it. Actually, it's a lot of work I do with the CEOs that I coach is both of those things, because mm. you're right, you get promoted to that point as a leader, often because you're an expert and you, you're used to having the answers, right? That's been your superpower. And, and that can count against you in leadership because you, you, know, you probably don't anymore. There are people who know a lot more about you, a, a lot more than you who are out there. And that's great. Those are the people you want to hire. And so it's very tempting to be that person because that's that you well in your career. So one of the exercises I set some of my CEOs to help them get over that discomfort is, 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 not to, ask, is, is to only ask questions. If they're giving an answer, they lose a point. For every question they ask, they yeah. get two points. And at the end of the week, we give them right. a tally score. Because again, it's just a muscle that you need to build up. And the more you get used to that, Absolutely. who knows what you're going to learn and where that's going to take you in terms of the future of your business because you can't know everything. Because again, it's just you. Absolutely. That's how you leverage a team at the end of the day.